Dry brushing is a simple and inexpensive technique that uses a soft bristle brush against the skin for exfoliation, is said to be used for lymphatic drainage, lymphedema, as well as overall skin health. Now there are no major studies that are done about these benefits with dry brushing. A lot of it is anecdotal, but it is gaining a lot of popularity. Now, my name is Kelly. I am a physical therapist as well as a certified lymphedema therapist. So although I don't specialize in only the dry brushing, I do specialize in the lymphatic system. So in this video, I'm going to share the routine and correct sequencing for lymphatic drainage using a dry brush. Dry brushing is typically done before bathing or showering and without any lotions or oils present. You do wanna be careful using a dry brush. You wanna make sure that you're using a soft bristle brush that doesn't irritate the skin and avoid any areas of sensitivity, any areas of skin openings, wounds, skin breakdown, or any areas of infection. The bristle should be soft enough that there should not be any scratches against the skin. And if there is, you wanna look for something a little bit softer and more gentle. There are a couple different options, which I'll link down below. But if all of these tools are still irritating for someone's skin, I would say the best tool someone has is their own hand. You can do the same routine for lymphatic drainage using just your hand as well. The pressure of using the brush should be really soft. We're working really on the top layers of the skin, so we don't want to scrub the area, and we don't want to press too hard that we're causing, again, any scratches or skin irritation. If there is any skin irritation or skin breakdown, you wanna discontinue the use of the dry brush. Again, try using your hand for some benefit with the lymphatic drainage, and then consult with your lymphedema therapist from there. There are no set guidelines on how often or how frequent this should be done, as well as how long it takes. But in general, this takes about five to 10 minutes. Some will do it on occasion, some will do it more frequently, whatever works for the individual. So we're gonna get into the routine that you can follow along with before we get started. Make sure that you subscribe down below and you can follow along on Instagram for more related content. Are you looking for something to take along with you you use each day? I've created handouts with step-by-step -step instructions and a diagram with the proper lymphatic drainage sequencing and technique. You can find these resources on my website at cancerrehabpt.com and I will put a direct link down below in the description box. But now, back to the routine. So as we get started, the first thing we want to do is stimulate the lymph nodes in your head neck area. All of the fluid through your head neck and face area have to go through the lymph vessels through the lymph nodes to get out of this region. And so we want to make sure we're stimulating those. So using the dry brush right around your collarbone or your clavicle, we're going to put it gently on the skin and we're going to do gentle circles around this region. You can do about eight to 10 times on an area and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So do it eight to 10 times, just to simulate those lymph nodes. Again, you don't have to press hard. The lymph nodes and lymph vessels are right under the skin. We also don't want to irritate the skin with the brush. After you've stimulated these lymph nodes, the other lymph nodes are right below your ears. And so right below the lobe, right on the skin, we're gonna do those eight to 10 circles there as well. And after you've done one side, we can do the other. It's not wrong just to do one side of the face, but if you wanna look at the whole face area, you have to make sure that you do both sides because what we're gonna do next is work into the lymph vessels. If you think about a line down the middle of your face, your lymphatic vessels run from the middle out towards the sides. So everything in your face runs out towards the lymph nodes that we talked about that are right below your ear. So all the strokes that we're doing are in that direction towards this area. But before we go there, we wanna make sure we work down the neck. So we're gonna work from the lymph nodes that are below your ear to the lymph nodes in your collarbone. So just down the side of your neck, we're gonna do small strokes with the brush downwards. Like I said, most of the vessels are on the sides. Some do wrap around the back. So you can work in the back of the neck from about the base of the hairline and down. But about eight to 10 strokes or more time if someone wants. And they'll do the same thing on the other side from the base of the ear and down towards the collarbone or clavicle and you can do as much as you want. 
and you can work around the back of the neck, like I said, base of the hairline and down. Be nice and gentle and the whole way down. And after you've done that, we've cleared this area, then we can move into the face. So again, we're gonna start in the middle and work our way out towards the lymph nodes here. So it doesn't matter what area you start from, I'm gonna start from the bottom, but everything in the direction of the bottom of the ear. So from the middle, we're going to do the small strokes outwards. So I do short little strokes. You can do larger, that is just fine. Just make sure that you're gentle. And after you've done a certain area, three to five times or more if you'd like, then you start to work up the face. But everything out to the sides. Just make sure that you're very careful, not getting too close to the eye. These are very delicate areas, but everything that direction. For the forehead, you'll start again from the middle and you'll wrap around down towards the ear. So again, spend as much time as you'd like on an area, as long as you're gentle, protecting your skin. And then we're gonna go to the other side. So thinking in the middle, same exact thing, working towards the bottom of the ear. Three to five times. And I'm going pretty quickly just for the time for this video, but you can again stop and spend as much time as you'd like. If you start to feel like your skin's getting irritated, make sure that you stop and get a softer brush or again, just stop and use your hand to do the exact same thing. I think that works just as well because you're getting that skin stretch. The dry brush works a little bit better for skin exfoliation, but whatever someone's prefers. So after we've done the full face and you've done in sections as much as you'd like, everything working from the middle out to the ears, then you wanna make sure that you finish working this fluid that you moved here out towards the side. So again, starting at the base of the ear, working down the side of the neck towards the collarbone or the clavicle. You can work around the back of the neck And then I'll do the same thing on the other side, base the ear and down. This is best done sitting up because gravity is gonna play a role to help get the fluid moving down and out. And deep breathing is also a really great option to add in junction with this because deep breathing does stimulate the lymph nodes that are in your abdomen and your trunk, which are your deeper lymph nodes as well. And so after we finish with that, then we're done. Again, I went through that pretty quickly, but that is the sequence for lymphatic drainage. Whether you're using a brush, another tool, your hand, use whatever works for you that you find benefit from. Just make sure that you're watching for any safety issues or skin breakdown, but that is the sequence of lymphatic drainage in general because that's the way the lymphatic system flows. So I hope that video was helpful to clarify which way and how to use the dry brush for lymphatic drainage. If you're looking for dry brushing for the full body, I have created another video that I will link up above that you can follow along with for the rest of the body. But otherwise, I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you all next week. Thanks everyone.